What's happening, y'all? It's your boy Cute Monster here, back at it once again. Now it's time to hear something about on the DC side of things. You know what I'm saying? What's gonna be going down in San Diego Comic Con? So, uh, let's go ahead and check it out. Uh, it's a DCU at the San Diego Comic Con 2022 preview. So let's go ahead and check it out, man. Let's see what we got going on here. I want to hear some news, some good news for DC at least. I mean, I don't know, I hope, but I know there's been a lot of drama on everything else, but we just want to see what happens. Uh, let me uh, raise this up quick. All right. Come on now. Discovery is set to make a few announcements and reveal at this year's San Diego Comic-Con. So in this video, we are going to go over what exactly is expected and maybe what you shouldn't be excited about because it's probably going to be a no-show. Mm. Let's get on to it. So let me get the most obvious thing out of the way. I'm not going to talk about anything related to the CW as I don't keep up with anything they are doing outside of Superman and Lois. So I have no knowledge on if The Flash is still going on beyond this upcoming final season or whatever's happening. Yeah. So that's it. We're going to talk about the DCEU side of things and specifically what is going to be shown. First and foremost, let's get the obvious out of the way right away. And the big one is, I think, a confirmation slash maybe reveal the cast of the Peacemaker's second season. Now, again, we know Peacemaker was a success Peacemaker. for HBO. It was also a cheaper show. And we learned recently from WB Discovery that they're looking to cut costs. Peacemaker, again, on paper, can be justified as it did enough to be able to justify more. So I think that's a given. And James Gunn looks like he's already going to be there. So it's a pretty easy thing to announce that eventually they're going to get to it. At the same time, there's been rumors of the Harley Quinn project. Maybe you tease it here, but again, I don't think you make a giant announcement right out the gate because this show, in my opinion... You have to focus on what's coming up right away. We've seen nothing on Shazam 2, a.k.a. Shazam Fury of the Gods, and Black Adam, we have one trailer. Black Adam is coming at us in literally a handful of months. So this has got to be the Black Adam blowout, and that momentum and that blowout has to carry over into Shazam 2. Because remember, Shazam 2 is facing off against Avatar 2. It's going to be a pretty interesting year all things considered, and if you consider the fact that in between Black Adam and Shazam, you have Wakanda Forever, they're going to be fighting for a lot of the same fans and the same dollars. So again, with inflation and everything happening, um, people are going to start choosing what they see a little bit more carefully. So I think if I was WB, Black Adam and Shazam have to be the majority of the blowout coverage. Now, at the same time, I will say, Maybe something related to the Batman and the spinoff series would be a given. I think that would be a smart announcement to make here. What's happening with the Arkham Asylum series? What's the status of that? When can we expect it? You probably want to drop that here. And then we get into the interesting ones. Expect nothing on The Flash or Aquaman 2. They are lucky that Ezra Miller has managed to avoid being in the news for three weeks now. And as long as they can maintain to stay out of the spotlight, the further we get away from it, the more that people will forget and then look over it when the film comes out next year. So I assume you're going to ignore that. On top of that, Aquaman, uh, it's still coming out in March. You don't have to start the advertising till later fall. You attach a teaser trailer to Black Adam. That gives you a good seven to eight month window. And that's the optimal spot. So again, I would say probably nothing on Aquaman either, also due to the Amber Heard situation. And along with all of this, we start to get into the nitty gritty of everything. What new projects do you announce? Do you show anything for Batgirl? Because maybe you want that Michael Keaton pop. Are they in fact going to be reviewing some sort of major announcement? People are still believing that there could be a reveal of the Snyderverse restoration. Again, I would say all of this Anything else outside of Shazam and Black Adam, grain of salt if you hear about it. Because Discovery has to be real careful here and manage expectations. And the fact that they've already canceled multiple projects and they're being very silent and careful tells me that they're kind of pulling back some things. 
I'm assuming we're going to hear maybe at best something in relation to Green Lantern and Blue Beetle, but even that might be stretching a little too far. All righty. So, that is, that is so far what we got from the uh, DCU news and everything. So, but um, I can tell you this, like I said, I mean, I am you know, ready to see Black Adam. And uh, plus I was hearing about, you know, uh, Henry Cavill is going to be coming back as Superman, which that's good, though. But, um, but I would like to see, you know what I'm saying, like, you know, Black Adam versus Superman and everything. Now that I would love to see. I would spend my money and chill in the movie theater, like popcorn on the left, rings on the right, Boy, let's go. <laughs> it's game time, you know what I'm saying? I want to see that type of fight right there. So, yeah, most definitely. As far as the Flash, though, I don't know, man. <laughs> After all the craziness we've been hearing, I mean, I have not heard anything for for, uh, for a good minute. So, I mean, it seems like everything must be all cool or something. But at the same time, we just don't know. Because, like, I've been hearing about Ezra Miller, you know what I'm saying, still getting in trouble here and there, but I have not heard anything about it recently, so I don't know, <laughs> but, um, yeah, and I hope we get some more Batman, I mean, like, I don't know, I mean, I think, I heard that, you know, Robin Pattinson is still going to be uh, playing as Batman, so he might come out with another sequel, there's no telling if we're going to be hearing that from the San Diego Comic Con, but we got to hear something, we got to hear something, you know, so, I still want Ben Affleck to come back, though, but... Apparently, I guess he's still trying to deny it that he's not going to try to come back as Batman. So, which is still sucks, but hey, it's all good. But, you know, but, you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> as far as Aquaman, I mean, uh, yeah, I kind of figured that would push it back, though. But I'm not really excited about Aquaman. Like I said, I'm not an Aquaman fan, so I can care less. Just like Superman, I can care less. You know what I'm saying? But if there was, like, you know, join in with another superhero character that I like, like, say, for instance, for Batman or something or anything else, I mean, I would be down to watch it, you know what I'm saying, if they had like, some kind of crossover or, or had some kind of cameo or something like that, whatever, whatever it is, I'll watch it, you know what I'm saying, but other than that, I can care less about it, but, um, yeah, we're just going to see what happens, we're just going to have to see what happens, y'all, because <laughs> there's just been so much going on. <sighs> Throughout these months, I mean, man, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. But anyways, post your comments down below. I really want to know what you guys think, man. I mean, which, you know, movie, TV, I mean, TV show do you, I mean, are you interested in watching? You know what I'm saying? List them all down in the comments system below. Which one you're excited about from the DCEU so far? Let me know what's up. And um, if you enjoy my reaction, make sure you hit that like button and always subscribe it and share it and i'm catch you guys later deuces <laughs>